All right, guys. On today's installment of What's Your Hustle, we're going to work on some, uh, well, a license plate here today. I've already peeled the plastic covering off of it. Don't forget to remove the film. It will severely affect your end result, and it will eventually peel right off. All right, so I have a sublimation paper, a sub. 120 printed out my image remember to reverse it i'm going to set my license my paper down first and then take the the white side remember it is going to be the white side i'm going to place it right over our image now don't forget when you're making your image you need to worry about or be aware of where the holes are for the license for the screws to hold the license to the vehicle. So I'm going to take some heat resistant tape, get this all taped up. I have my parchment paper down. I'm just going to reverse that so the warm side isn't facing or down yet. I'm going to go paper side up. Just flip this right over. press with nice firm pressure now keep in mind when this comes out this is going to be hot all right you're heating metal at 400 degrees so it's not going to be something you want to grab a hold of you'll do it once but you probably won't do it again afterwards so we're going to be ready when it comes out, we're going to put it in for 45 seconds. Now, the thing about the license plates, when they're when they are all done, you will need to, if you're going to put it on a car, uh, some people hang them on the wall or whatever it is they're going to do with them. You can place them right on. Uh, or you got spray spray clear coat over. All right, so I'm going to peel this back. I'm going to take the paper, quickly pull back on this. While holding down with the rag, and pull this away. Now it is, uh, these plates are very thin, 0 .030 uh, in thickness. So they will cool off very quickly, but they do get very hot. Uh, did a few other ones earlier today. Uh, you can really get some... Get a few of these done. Great way to make some money on them. Uh, they are an inexpensive item, but they look amazing. Uh, there we have some Flemings that we had done in the past. Those are actually for his family. We do not uh, make them and sell them for the Flemings because we're not allowed to do that. Uh, he's a local boy. We won't want to take anything from him like that. They are gifts for his mother and his grandfather. Uh, from a friend of theirs. And it gave us a, an opportunity to make them and show people exactly what they are while making an interesting subject uh, because he is some going to be a force to be reckoned with here in the very near future. This, this one come out really nice now without the glare. Uh, we used a carbon fiber background on them. Uh, we're going to stick with that for a little bit. Then we'll change them up as time goes. Now, we like to vector the picture. We're not putting a, an exact photo on. If you see here, it is not going to be a perfect photo. One that saves us from dealing with uh, customers wanting the perfect image. Uh, and, and, you know, not every image is going to be great, but this can make a, you know, a picture that was a newspaper picture, something we can work with. Uh, it doesn't have to be a high quality photo. Now, these logo school ones, uh, these are something that will make a quite a bit, quite a bit off of, you know, and then there's that fast pitch program. 
all right just wanted to give you that I'll show you how that works again it is cooled off now i can peel the tape off of it and at this point when i get a bunch done we're going to go and pick up a couple cans of clear coat and spray them all while the nozzle's nice and clear and we can spray a can's worth or whatever and then we'll dispose of the can no sense trying to reuse it and having it spitting uh thicker globs on it and then ruining it so we're going to get back to designing uh we have some some shirts we're going to kick out here uh next and we do still want to sit down with you and talk about some other great hustles we have all right keep on pressing